Welcome back. So we are getting ready for the chapter four exam. I believe this is video four, I think. Um, so there's gonna, I'm gonna be making lots of videos to cover all the different parts of the study guide. So right now I'm on study guide B and we've already uh, done video, oh, I've already done videos for uh, the first four sections and now we're on section five. Awesome, welcome back. So this section says, given this function, this function and this function, find the following, show all your work. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm good. Um, so you're like, whoa, what does that mean? This is just a lot of math. There's a lot of math going on here. So let's look. You're like, why, why do they have different letters in the front? Well, why do we all have different names? I have kids that are named Brody in here. I have kids that are named uh, Hannah in here. I have kids that are named Mary. I have kids that are all these names, right? Well, if we have different names, so are our functions. So you can kind of, I like to think of it, that's, think of anybody's name that starts with M. It could be your mom's function, Mary's function, Peter's function, Peyton's function, Teresa, that's my name, Teresa's function, Tammy's function. It's just different names so that we can separate these and know they're different, okay? So here we go. This one says I'm using Mary's function or the M function. So I'm gonna find that. That's this guy right here. I'm gonna take the math component and write it down. And then I'm gonna take the two because they wanna know if you go to function M and you plug in two, what's your output? So if I plug in two for X, what will be the output? That's what they're asking me to do. If I plug two in for, for this function, what is gonna be the output? So two is my input, what's gonna be my output? So I'm gonna put two in the spot. I have two of these, two times two. This is called a power. It's telling me to write this thing out twice and multiply. Two times two is four, and four take away three is one. Hope you did well. Next, P. So I'm gonna find P. Is it the first guy, the middle guy, or the last guy? Definitely the middle guy. So I'm gonna take the math piece and write it down. So what this is really asking me is, hey, if you replace X with negative two, what is gonna be your output? What's gonna be your final answer? So here we go. We're gonna take negative two and we're gonna drop it in. Anytime you see a letter and a number next to each other, it's multiply. So I like to use a parenthesis. You can use a dot as well. So we're gonna do multiply first. So we need to recall our multiplication rules. So a plus times a plus is a plus. This is for multiply, our rules. A negative times a negative is a plus. A positive times a negative is a negative and the same. So here's our rules for multiply and divide. They work for division. So we have a negative times a negative, which is a positive and four times two is eight. Eight plus five more, eight. If you gotta use your fingers and toes, do it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Got it. We got a final answer, 13. Let's try the next one, T. So T is this one. It has an absolute value in it. Very interesting. So here we are. I'm gonna drop in the 12. We have two times 12 is 24, the absolute value of 24. They're like, what the heck does absolute value mean? Well, the absolute value of 24, let's imagine going up to Mr. 24. Excuse me, Mr. 24, I'd like to know your absolute value. And he's like, I'm stumped by that question. I have no idea what you're talking about, lady. Well, absolute value means a distance a number is away from zero. So imagine going up to 24 on a number line and say, hey, 24, how far are you away from zero? Hey, 24, how many units away from zero are you? And he's gonna say, I am 24 units away from zero. That's a positive number because distances are measured in positive terms. So we have 24 plus one more is 25. Now my suggestion is to stop here and try the other ones because we've done one of each of the functions. Now you can give it a go. So you can pause the video and come on back. Because if you don't try it yourself and I'm doing all the work, 
I'm only getting better at math, even though everyone can improve. Me too. Okay. So pause the video, come back and let's see how you did. Welcome back. Okay. So uh, we are back. We are going to be working on this lovely study guide. We have done a lot of it already, which is awesome. Um, and we are on this section right here on M. So let's find M. That's this one. We're going to drop in a four. Now, a very common mistake on this one is kids tell me that four times four is eight. I've made that mistake <laughs> too many times that I'd like to admit, but I too have made that mistake. So we're not going to make that mistake. So when in doubt, we'll write it out. We'll help our brain figure it out. Okay. So when in doubt, we're going to tell ourselves, write this out two times. I need two of these. I need two of these things. And it's a multiply. And four times four is 16. We're not gonna make the eight mistake. Even though I, again, I make that mistake. So when in doubt, write it out. Help your brain, figure it out. Nice. I hope you got 13. Uh, let's try this one. This one is T. It's that one with the absolute value in it. So it's gonna be the absolute value of negative four plus one. So again, let's remember a number line. Here's zero, one, two, three, and four. Here's negative four. The absolute value of negative four, that's like me going up to Mr. Negative Four and saying, excuse me, Mr. Negative Four, I'm curious, how far away from zero do you live? Well, he's gonna say I am one, two, three, four units away. So all of this is a positive four because it's a distance a number is away from zero. And then four plus one more is five. How'd you do? Good, great. Let's try this guy. Um, so we are looking for T, that's the last one again. So we have two times negative three plus one. We have negative six plus one. Let's look at our number line again. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's negative six. Excuse me, Mr. Negative six. How far away from zero do you live? And he's all one, two, three, four, five, six. I am six positive units away. So this whole thing turns into a positive six because that is asking me, the absolute value of negative six, the distance negative six is away from zero. Six plus one more is seven. Awesome, let's look at P. That's this guy right here. We have negative four times 12 plus five. That's negative 48 plus five. We have a multiply here. Four times eight is 48, and a negative times a positive, negative. Negative 48 plus five, wowzers. Negative 48 plus five, number line. Negative 48, negative 47, negative 46, negative 45, negative 44. So if I'm at four, negative 48, and I'm gonna go forward five, which means to the right five, because to the right means you're going more positive. One, two, three, four, we're going to be at negative 43. Cool. You could also use a calculator if you'd like. And last but not least, we have M. That's this guy right here. X squared minus 3, and we're going to drop in a negative 5. Cool. When in doubt, write that out. Help your brain figure it out. So we have two of these, and it's multiply, two of these. And remember, it's multiply. So it's a negative times a negative, which is a positive, right? And five times five is, don't tell me 10, 25, nice. And now a 25 take away three is 22. How'd y'all do? Hot dog. I'm gonna stop the video here because we're almost at 10 minutes anyways, and we'll come back for the next sections. Awesome, have a great day, see ya.